Hi guys, welcome to Delores Studios. Uh, this is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be taking a drift backwards to one of our uh, major tutorial when it comes to uh, Android development. Uh, we'll be talking about the Movies app uh, where we use Retrofit, Glide and we actually uh, use the Movie DB API to get uh, the data which we actually uh, populated using the, the grid uh, recycler view. So it's a, it's a wonderful application which uh, has uh, a lot of videos right in the play in the playlist where you could actually uh, get yourself acclimatized with each of the parts of the video. Now we get still going to have a Drizzy uh, implementation on top of these, uh, uh, these uh, uh, tutorial. Uh, we're actually going to be adding the share functionality. We could see that our application has no share capability with other applications with all that social media applications. Probably you just want to let them know that that's a movie right there. That's a new movie, uh, which I would like you to check out, or which I would like you to see the banner, which I would like you to see a kind of uh, uh, an intro to it, uh, the banner, uh, the title of the movie, you could actually share to your friend uh, on WhatsApp, on uh, Facebook, on any other application that listen to uh, PNG files or to just a mere text message. So uh, we're actually going to integrate share uh, functionality with uh, the movie app and uh, we will be sharing the, the image which is in full and uh, the name that's the title of the movie to any of you user uh, using any other social network that is listening to this particular uh, share functionality. And uh, majorly because we're actually uh, using Glide and we are getting the image from the server. It's not something that uh, we have locally. So you could uh, you could tend to uh, look at how can we get to share that. Are we sharing uh, an image which is extracted from the server down to your mobile app and we are trying to uh, push that same image to another calling application. We're actually going to be uh, covering all that in this video. So I'll say sit back, don't go anywhere and let's get started. Now add it straight to Android Studio. I still have uh, the source code right intact. The only change we're going to do now is right there at the detail activity because that's where we have the detail uh, page uh, where we get to click on the grid and we have a full picture uh, the metadata of the movie uh, and even the trailer uh, of that particular movie. We have that right there in uh, the detail activity. So this is applicable to any other implementation. You really need to get that done uh, when you need to share uh, uh, an image which is populated from a URL. So this is just a good approach for you to get that done. Let's head straight to the implementation. Now in the detail activity, we need just few methods to get this uh, done. Uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be needing the menu to actually have the share icon. So I have that in the on create options menu. Uh, you should know how to inflate menu by now. Where you get to have the overflow menu, you could have the action buttons, and you could have the top bar, which is actually sitting at the toolbar menu. So you get that done by creating uh, a, a menu uh, package or let's say a menu directory, and from there you could create a menu file. So we have that as called detail menu. Let's get to look at that in the root of the application and the menu directory. We have the detail menu. So what's is what's uh, included in the detail menu? The detail menu is just uh, the share icon uh, let's get to have a preview of that you could see right there at the, at the right uh, you have the share icon uh, which you actually going to use the material uh, the design icon so it's actually recommended to use the vector assets don't start to uh, import different uh, uh, graphics or different PNG files that could make your application bulky and it could make your APK larger. So the best approach is to use uh, the vector assets and that will actually uh, going to be handled by Android to uh, rip or to resize itself to different uh, format or to different uh, screens. So actually increase the uh, the size to 36 dp, uh, which is the IC share the share icon and the white color will match or will. I uh, would get uh, visible from the background which is blue so cool you have that set up uh, in the item so let's get back to the detail activity in the detail activity you declare the inflator to inflate that particular menu and from there on options item selected since you've attached an id look at this right there we have an id called share uh, so you've attached that to that uh to that item and now you could actually uh, run that using the case because you could have 
multiple uh, multiple menu right there in the toolbar you could have overflow menu you could stack that at the toolbar so with an id an id going to identify the particular item you are interacting with so now we're interacting with the share uh, icon which you have that and you need to return the on options item selected so what are we going to trigger we're going to trigger the method called the share content so let's get to look at what this method is going to do now we're expecting a bitmap that's the first thing an image could be converted to a bitmap now we have the image view we have the container where the image is which is the image view as you could see right there now we're going to trigger a method called get bitmap from the view we are trying to extract the bitmap from that view now we're going to we're just trying to take a capture like a snapshot of that view and turn it to an image a ball a, a usable image that's just what that means now the get bitmap what's going to happen there we're going to actually use uh we get the width and the height of the view and uh we use a canvas because we're going to return that as a bitmap and use the canvas to actually get that as a drawable so that's just things that's how things are going to be uh done now in the uh drawable you test if it's not null if it's not null you're going to draw the canvas to uh the the object of the drawable you know is returning a bitmap to a canvas from the draw a canvas you are attaching that to a drawable now you have that set now you need to return the bitmap which is what you got from the canvas cool so this is what is going to be returned to this bitmap now you've been able to convert the image view to uh, a canvas or to a bitmap rather so you have that right there as a bitmap over here now that's not all now you need to to be able to share the bitmap to other calling application you're going to use the try and catch block in case there's an exception probably a file output stream ex exception an input and output exception or any other form of error that might occur in the process of sharing this uh, particular image now in the try block you will have it as a file you get the external catch directory and you pass the name that's the title of the image you really want to give it and now there's an output stream uh, which you now pass the file object at the, because you're instantiating the new output, output stream and you're getting an object from that called file out uh, what you're going to do you're going to compress the bitmap you're going to compress it uh, to a quality of 100 you have it as a png file and uh, you call the flush and the close now you set the readable to true uh, that's for the uh the the bitmap the file is separate and the owner only you set that to false now what are you going to do to the intent you call an intent so now you have you have a copy of the file so you're going to call an intent uh to the action send definitely that's just uh, a constant to give the instruction to an intent that you're actually going to share this uh, the, uh you want to sh create a share yeah so with an action set you get that cool the set flags is optional you could decide not to add that but now you need to put extra what extras are you putting all the metadata that you need attached to this share uh file what are you going to put the movie name you could add the description uh, if you want to do you could add the uh, rating of the movie you could add some other metadata which will be going alongside the share uh file now cool we have the movie name as only extra we want to add up and now the stream because it's actually going to come in the stream uh, you're going to convert the file to URI converting file to URI converting URI to file these are back and forth that you should really know about when you're trying to communicate with other applications or when you're trying to share file but URI is very important you know universal resource identifier so cool we are not converting the file to URI which is going to be readable as a part just like we have as the URL when we talk about web in mobile app Android you talk about URI now cool now you have that set up you set the type what type are you sending is in PNG is in JPEG and so on now we have it on PNG because you've actually compressed the format the bitmap format to a PNG uh, file now you create a chooser uh, that's a chooser to actually tell you uh, w other uh, apps might be listening to that particular PNG file we have a bunch of apps that listen to png files we have facebook we have whatsapp we have almost all social network listen to all png files so you get that uh, set up in the chooser you get to choose from which app you want to set this particular png file to and you complete the process at that point in time so you have an exception if there's an exception just print it out let's know the kind of exception that we are handling is it a file output is it the uh 
uh, input and output exception or is it just a bitmap error and so on so you could actually catch that so your application would never catch, uh, crash at this point in time because you've actually handled uh, the exception that will arise at the point of sharing an image to other application so cool with this you've completed that aspect and i'm actually going to be showing you the implementation of this uh, in the screencast so you get to see the way uh you could share a url application or uh, uh, image rather uh which is actually uh, uh displayed using light and uh, now you're trying to get a capture a snapshot of that particular image view uh, you could turn that to bitmap using the canvas and with that you could share the bitmap which you use the file and you convert the file to uri and with uri you could share to all the application listening application and that will be done successfully so cool i've been able to achieve this and i will employ you to also do and you could actually replicate this to all the applications that whatsoever you need to do that on all your social network all your social applications you're coming up with and you need to share content you could do this for pdf you could do this for text document you could do this for jpeg you could do this for gif any other format or mine type of application you really want to share to other are calling apps so thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout uh, this video and i'll be uh, committing the code to the github repo so you should uh you could lay your hands on it for uh study purpose and with this i'll be signing out i say thank you one more time have a wonderful time bye bye for now